Hey, I'm Gopar, and we are continuing the series called Emacs Goodies, in which I talk about built-in Emacs packages that are either not that popular, not that well-known, or that I think just deserve a little extra love, a little shout-out. But yeah, so today we are going to talk about a function or a mode called Shadow File, or which you can kind of guess from the name, shadows of file aka copies files so let's go ahead and go into that so let me j quickly jump into shadow file okay so here's the file as you can see from the first line automatic file copying so yes so one thing I'm going to say right now is that this works for you know trivial things if you're doing a lot of complicated stuff you might want an actual software that's built for this Emacs is just doing you know what the best that it can of course you can expand it you can make it better whatnot but yeah just letting you know right off the bat so that you're not trying to recreate a git repo or something your own git via this or something <laughs> version control but yeah anyway so there's a couple of comments in installation but we're not going to go over all that because i'm going to show you in the video so if you want to use this the first thing you need to do is call the shadow initialize function which should be automatically in scope because it is auto loaded but anyways this function simply just sets up some stuff variables some advice hooks and adds something to the control x4 key map so that you can shadow copy manually enforce it that it copies files automatically via the key binding but yeah so okay you're like cool this copies files so how do i how does it work how do i use it well first things first i have an example file hello l so i'm gonna do shadow like i said shadow initialize called it no everything's good now everything should be loaded so now i'm gonna define some things in this file so i already have some stuff set up i'm gonna go over it so I'm going to define a cluster. Now a cluster is just essentially either a host name, a path, or an, an IP address of where you want it to go. It's just, it's just that essentially. And what Emacs wants to know is you want, he wants you to give you a nickname, the host name or IP address or something like that, and then a regex that it will use for copying files. So for i'm going to create two because you need at least two to copy files because you're saying hey this is the cluster that i want to copy to or from and this is the cluster that i want to be caught that i want to copy to or from so for example i say hey i want to i want to set youtube as the main source and i want gopar to just be a mirror of it or whatever or gopar be the main source and youtube be the mirror you get the point so i'm saying youtube is the nickname shadow system name is the host name which is just like I said just the nickname for the host name so as you can see down here this is my host name that I have and then the regex is just oops is just also as well the host name that way it knows what to do let's see of course you can always look at the doc string which is the name on the list of a cluster but yes, go feel free to go ahead and read those. But for right now, we're not. I'm not going to read it because what's the point of a video if I'm just reading text to you? All right, let's go. Let's continue. All right, so I'm saying YouTube, uh, my host name, and then the regex. So as you can see here, this is the output. So now it created one cluster, and we wanted to create another cluster. So there you go, two clusters now. So there's the GoPar, and there's our YouTube, and now Emacs knows. Uh, Emacs is aware of these two places even though they're the same exact place it still considers it different for our purposes so now we have to define some files to copy so we're gonna copy this exact file and I'm gonna show you the directory that it's in it's empty so I'm gonna show you in dired or dear it however you call it but yes as you can see hello.l is the only one and I'm gonna close that and now I'm going to so I'm gonna set this variable shadow literal groups to the following. So I'm basically saying, hey, I'm gonna create this, I'm gonna use the cluster YouTube and I'm gonna give it this file path. And I'm also gonna say, hey, copy to the next cluster, Gopar, and I want you to call it copycat.l. So essentially it's saying to and from, that's what is going, that's what's happening. So if I evaluate just this line, 
as you can see it says right here so the cluster is called YouTube I want you to copy this file hello.l into this cluster gopar users and here's the path that I want you so as you can see right here these clusters are just to reference one another of course you can also use YouTube the same as well over here and it should work just fine but just for this purposes I'm imagining that gopar and YouTube are like on a different network host name or whatever just for demonstrations so now the shadow regex group is the same thing I'm doing the exact same thing I'm gonna evaluate it but it's just for the regex version so here you go that on and then let's evaluate the other up, up. Hey, did I evaluate it yes okay but anyways I'm gonna evaluate both of them right now and this is the output that we get over here but this is just something that we have to do to make sure everything works correctly now the moment of truth what do we do to copy a file well according to the documentation of the shadow file is that it will copy the files when Emacs exit or if you manually invoke it via the key binding or through the function itself via meta X but let's go ahead and call it via the key binding so the key binding should be control X for s no files oh my god did I did I do everything uh, okay so I evaluated that and did I evaluate this okay so let me do it again control X for s no files need to be shadowed interesting Ah, okay so I remember what I need to do so it's not gonna copy anything right now because it hasn't detected any changes so first we need to make a change and then it will make <laughs> it will copy over the files so that's why I was going on so we can see testing this out we will save it and then we will automatically call the key binding or we'll invoke the key binding control X for s and if you see on the bottom in the mini buffer it says copy shadow file and then it gives the cluster name and then the path so it says hey you want to copy this file to over here we just press yes and then it just did some stuff uh, as you can see it printed out some stuff on or it wrote something to the shadow to do files so we're not going to worry about that but anyways if we do diode again let's see and you see we see a copycat right there so if we're going to open it we see this again the exact same thing as hello that I'll testing this out so now if we do another test and then we save it and then we manually invoke shadow copy files it's gonna ask again hey do you want to do it and then if we go back it says ta-da another test now there are some configuration options that you can overwrite for example uh, to ask again or uh, def custom uh, inhibit no query so right here you can set it this to true and it will never ask you there's some other stuff that you can do but this is pretty much the gist of how you would configure it you would set it up in your readme and you would call it you would probably call shadow initialize after the loading hook and just do as you normally do with the edit files and then Emacs will save it as you exit or if you manually invoke or if you like you can you can make it ask you every single time but that is pretty much it oh before that I want to show something so when I was reading this file I was a little confused with the with the words that were chosen as to how to configure this so what I ended up doing was I ended up actually going to the Emacs repository and looking at the test for this file so that's one way to know how to use a package if you're not completely sure if googling you know you can google you can ask reddit all those things but you can also look at the test themselves which is beautiful part about Emacs so let me show you I'll jump into the Emacs repository I made a local file and then I'll jump into the test file for shadow file so over here it says test of shadow file and if we search for a test that says copy oops uh, there we go so this is the copy that makes uh, that shows the functionality essentially so all of this is not that interesting but right here it says defining the cluster it gives it some name and then shadow name and then the same thing and then I was like oh so this is how you configure it all right that makes sense you know cluster the same thing all over again 
and then it makes some stuff as you can see this looks pretty familiar to what do I have because this is what the I basically just copied the test because the test showed how to use this which is pretty nice perk of you know living inside of Emacs and working using Emacs is pretty well tested and the tests are pretty nice so that is pretty well and then of course the test actually tests that it will but yes this is one way to check that you are doing using it correctly or if you have any doubts you can always refer to the test of course the doc, if the documentation is not enough but that is it let me know what you think if you think you'll be using this if you prefer not to or if there's any other packages you'd like me to go over i will do my best to go over them but that's all thanks